handle this. Hello there, sister! May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo! But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the Knight's way. That's simply not acceptable! Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Please, I beg of you! I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then... I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore! My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended! Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Wait! The church has been a mess recently, and the Seneschal is not here. Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the Holy Liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. Barbados bless you. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? Hey! A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. Oh, it didn't work. I knew. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will! Any suggestions on just how we steal it? Come now, speak up! That's what free will is for. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights of Favonius. You have made contributions to Mondstadt. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to talk your way out of it. The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning!
mentioning us getting caught! What do you say? Uh, yes. Seems I did mention that. Your point being? Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? Doing oh, here. No, run! Oh no! We're busted! Run! What? Follow me. Master Diluc, this is this week's accounts. <sighs> the disaster has greatly affected business. Well, let's hope it all ends soon. Hi! We'd like a seat at your, uh, least conspicuous table. Um, 
The second floor has fewer customers. You'd be less conspicuous up there. But aren't you a bard? Why not sit front and center? <laughs> Let's save the paid performance for next time. We'll be heading up now. See you in a bit. Hey, keep an eye on them. There's something strange about that bard. I'll go ask around. Ask who, exactly? The protectors of Mondstadt. Master Diluc, have you seen two thieves around? What happened? Why have you mobilized so many guards? <laughs> Haven't you heard, Master Diluc? Two thieves are trying to steal the Holy Lyre! Oh? Huh? How odd. Isn't it? The Holy Lyre is a treasure that was played by the god of animal themselves! Such a precious piece of cultural heritage! <laughs> Why would one want to steal something they can't sell off? Would pay better to steal from my sellers. Huh? Sorry, off topic. Believe they headed that way. Understood. Thank you, Master Diluc. I'll have a glass of... You can put down that bottle you stole from behind the counter. Something cold. Right. I want answers. Let me finish my drink first. I'll pay you. Well, with a performance. It's not about money. You seem too young to be drinking. No need to worry. When I started drinking, you were still... Oh, you want to ask, who's this? Am I right? He is Master Diluc, the boss of... the... the owner of this tavern. He's very famous. By the way, his dandelion wine is one of my favorites. Although most of the time I can only afford a bottle or two. I just heard about some thieves from the guards. For the record, I like your guts for trying to steal the Holy Lyre de Hamel. Even if you are fools. But we don't often get to see people like you. It wasn't us that stole it. The real thief is still out there. This is the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius. Why would someone so aspiring steal Mondstadt's sacred treasure? Hotshot? Oh, so it's you. So, you and the Bard are close friends? Well... Despite only being a passing traveler, you still offered your help to Mondstadt in its time of need. A shame you joined the Knights. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> Inefficient right from beginning to end. And towards the Fatui? Weak and conservative. <sighs> Forget it. I don't feel like talking about it. Seems you don't really like the Knights of Favonius. Just differences in approach is all. I have my own hopes for this city. Now, answers. Why did you steal the Holy Liar? You sure you want to know? It could implicate you in the affairs of the Knights of Favonius. That's fine. I somehow always end up implicated in their affairs. If I tell you the story with a performance, will you believe me? It depends. I'll make my own judgment. Then will I get paid? Your reward will range from anywhere between Five Mora and the Holy Liar. It all depends on your story. Very well. Let me put on a show.
What did I just witness? This is confidential information. Why did you let me know? Why? Hmm, perhaps the winds are changing. What say you, Master Diluc? Interesting. Give me some time. I'll organize some contacts. Outlander, as one of the knights, it seems you're not a suspect. Blonde is the only description on the wanted poster. You should be safe. As for the bard, however, it'd be better if you stayed in the tavern. <laughs> no problem. I like taverns. <laughs> okay. Let's meet here tonight after the tavern closes. You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Lyre can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this Storm Terror issue. Now that's the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to believe. But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command... Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those years ago, and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. Hmm. That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? 
I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together after all. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their respective gods. The Cryo Gods Fatui seem to be after the Animo Gods' power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it! If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take Devalin's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados' connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The God of Animal? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level. Freeze! Dodge this! Dodge this! Cool it! Dodge this! Freeze! Dodge this! <laughs> <laughs> 